Well, welcome, guys. Welcome to a new Let's Play. This is, of course, Final Fantasy VIII. Oh, boy. Now, let me tell you, I am both excited and at the same time nervous to be recording this game again. Because, obviously, I did record this back in the day. Now, I'm excited because it's been so long since I've played this, so it's going to be fun to be starting all over again. I'm also nervous, though, because... I don't know, there's just... It's certain aspects of this game may may not seem that good to most people because to those of you who may not may or may not be aware final I, f I feel that final fantasy 8 is considered like the black sheep of most of the final fantasy titles because it tried to do a whole bunch of different things it has like the junction system the new way to get magic from monsters and stuff and it was quite off-putting to some to quite a few people so a lot of people didn't like it in that regard but i i I've really come to like this game over the years, so we're at least going to give it our best. Anyway, let's get started with Final Fantasy VIII, and I'm going to shut up as the intro rolls. There you have it, guys. Welcome to Final Fantasy VIII. So I've always really liked that opening. Got to see how Squall, Mr. Squall here got his scar on his face. You can thank Cypher for that. Or Safer. I think I've always called him Safer. Um, I'm okay, I guess.
You got it, Doc. Now, in this game, you, there's only two characters that you have the option of naming, but I'm not going to rename anyone. So this guy is going to be staying as Squall. Yeah, exactly. Tell that to Safer. You can't just run away. So we're going to meet our teacher, Quistus. No, oh, there appears to be some kind of girl there. She's not going to become important until later in the game, but trust me, she will be important. Now say hello to our teacher, Quistus. Well, duh. Field exam, eh? So we are controlling Squall here. Quistus is a bit of a weirdo. Where she's like guessing what Squall is going to say. Not interested. <sighs> Come on, Quistus, that's just creepy. Anyway, let's get going. Now, I can remember way back uh, when I, with my first copy of this game, my first disc was really messed up, and it had a ton of issues trying to get the cutscenes to work. I remember trying everything to get them to work. Especially on my PlayStation 2, which doesn't work. It doesn't really work with PlayStation 1 games much anymore. So I eventually had to get a second copy of the game with a, a, a disc one that was in better shape. I couldn't even use items in boss battles and stuff or summon GFs because there was a chance it would just not work and make the game crash. But enough about that. Field exam for seed candidates will begin later this afternoon. Those not participating and those who failed last week's written test are to remain here in study hall. Field exam participants will have free time until the exam. Just be sure you're in top condition. Alrighty. Something tells me he's not gonna listen to you, uh, Quistus. Alright, we'll go talk to her. But first we're gonna sit right back down and examine our computer desk. Let's turn the power on. Let's go to the tutorial. GF registered under Squall are Quizacodal and Shiva. I've never known if I've spelled that, uh, pronounced that name right. 
Quizacoddle, or Quizacoddle. Anyway, that's, uh, an electric summon, or a thunder base summon. And of course, Shiva, the ice summon. Yes, yes, blah, 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 blah. I only entered the tutorial so that I could, uh, uh... Basically, so I could just get those GFs registered. GF, basically, by the way, stands for Guardian Force. That's the name for summons in this game. Right, that'll do. Alright, so let's go into the menu. Now, the junction system, it's something that's easier to show you rather than explain it, because trying to explain it is a little bit more difficult. So in this game, you can junction your summons to specific characters. So in this case, we're going to junction Shiva to Squall. Now, you see how his one of his stats lit up there? That means that that Guardian Force can allocate magic to that stat once we start building up some magic. It also means that we can set our parameters here. So de we're definitely going to need draw, we're going to need GF, and we're going to need magic. So that means once we're, in, once we're in battle, we can use the draw, guardian force, and magic commands. Now these are just other separate abilities which we don't have yet, but those will come into play later. Now as far as junctioning magic to stats, I can't really show that yet because we don't have any magic. So when the time comes, I'll show you that. Alright, Christus, what did you want? No, I don't believe we have. Um, not really. Eh, I'm confident enough, Quistus. Alright then, we shall meet you at the front gate. Let's go, Squall. Ow! Watch where you're going. Okay. Really, I couldn't tell. I'm afraid it is. Tour of the garden. Sorry, but don't really have the time. You can show her around if you really want to, but it just basically navigates you around the garden here. Now I'm going to try not to talk to anyone, except for maybe one person here, because he's going to be giving us some cards. Would you like to have these? My brother gave me these cards, but they're really not my thing. You can have them if you'd like. If you want to play cards with someone, talk to them by pressing square, but keep in mind not everyone is a player. Oh, and by the way, I don't play, so don't bother challenging me. So he gave us some cards to get started on the card game. Now, unlike Final Fantasy IX, I am going to ha actually have quite a bit of interest in this card game, which is called Triple Triad in this. Now, compared to Tetra Master in Final Fantasy IX, Triple Triad is actually quite fun, so I will be taking on that side quest. We could get a card now if we wanted to, but I think I'm going to focus on that later, because we have a job to do at the moment. Um, actually... Yeah, let's go to the library real quick. Now, this place that Squall is in is called a garden, and this particular one is called Balam Garden. Now, what, Balam gar what these gardens do is that they train mercenaries. And, obviously, Squall is one of these mercenaries.
Now over this thing here, this weird purple thing, this is what's called a draw point. Now some particular types of magic can be drawn from them. From this particular one, you can get Isunas. So Squall just stocked 12 Isunas. Oops, I didn't mean to talk to her. Damn it, stop talking to her. But um, notice how the draw point becomes either blue or gray after you draw from it. That means you cannot draw from it again for quite a while. Until it refills. Oh, we got a magazine. Mysterious monster death. Odell Burke of Timber was tending to his field when he found a dead monster after hearing a loud impact sound. Mr. Burke said it occurred while he was making a fence with steel pipes. Hmm. Weird. Oh yeah, let me check my configuration real quick. That's fine, we'll have it on wait. Make the camera a little bit faster. We'll increase the battle speed. We'll increase the battle messages. Increase the field messages. And I don't think I'll turn on the vibrate function. Just so that my mic doesn't pick up any vibrating. Okay, so I think we can start making our way out of the garden and meet up with Christus. Yeah, as far as the drop points are concerned, they do eventually refill. Some of them take much longer to refill than others, though. That's a save point right there on the left if you ever need to save. Just so you know what they look like. Alright, let's go. But yeah, there's a reason I'm trying not to talk to people at this point. I have a feeling it may not be into the actual seed exam, but I always don't try to take any risks at this point anyway. Because it's basically the more people you talk to, the more you get ranked down towards your seed rank. Not that it really matters in the long run since you can eventually adjust your seed rank later anyway, but it's just a principle of the matter. Alright, we got some cures. So yeah, magic is a bit unique in this game, which I will show you once we're out on the world map. In just a moment. Oh, do you now? GF gives us strength. The stronger the GF, the stronger we become. You don't need to explain to me, Questus. I've already explained to the nice people. Once we get to the fire cavern, I'll explain how to junction magic. Use the command draw during battle and stock magic from your enemies. Be sure to have some stocked. Ready to go? Fire cavern here. Fire cavern used for the test is located east of here. Alright, so Quistus has joined our party. And what we're going to do with Quistus is... We're going to junction Quizacotta to her. She's going to have draw, magic and item equipped, for the time being. Alright, off to the world map we go. <laughs> okay then, so let's see if we can get ourselves into a random encounter. Oh, that was fast. Oh, that's perfect. These things are kind of rare. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to draw from this thing. Now, the question marks mean that it's a spell that is unknown to us. So, let's go ahead and stock up on said unknown spells. So, that was Blizzard. And that was Scan. Obviously, it also has cure. Now, this is how you get your magic in this game. You have to draw it from enemies. But I think I'm going to do exactly what I did last time. I'm going to show the spells that the monsters have, and if it's a spell I don't have, 
I'm going to just edit out me drawing 100 of each spell that I draw from it, because it would be very boring to just show me drawing repeatedly. So, um, bear with me a moment, guys, while I draw as much magic from I can- Bleh! As I draw as much magic as I can from this thing, and then I'll be back right after that. So bear with me just a moment. Okay guys, I'm done drawing magic from this enemy. Alright, so we've now got 100 blizzards, 100 cures, and 100 scans. And now that we're done with this enemy, we're going to run! Now there is a very good reason for that. Enemies in this game are a little unique. They, their level scales with you. So, right now, Squall is level 8, so I believe all of the- no, Squall is level 7. So all of the enemies that we're, we're gonna run into are also level 7. Now, I am gonna try and avoid random battles as much as I can, because I don't want my guys gaining experience points if possible. I won't go out of my way to do it, like if it's a forced battle or something, but... There is a good reason for it, and I will go, will go into detail about that later. And trust me, it's gonna have to do with my stats. Speaking of stats, let's get into that right now. So now that we have magic stocked up, we can start assigning magic spells to our stats. If the GF has any for that for that particular stat. Now different spells have different attributes, and in this case, for spirit, cure has gives the most points out of all the spells we have currently. So we're gonna assign cure to spirit for squall. Now for Quistus, she has a magic junction, so we can put Blizzard there. And see, you can see how her stats have increased because of that. Now, the more you have stocked up with that spell, the greater increases your, your stats in this game. So if you have full 100, then you get the most u stat benefit out of it. Now as the game progresses, there are other things we can start assigning, uh, we can start junctioning to, like elemental attack, elemental defense, Status attack, status defense, but we'll go in, we'll go more into that later. For, but for the time being, all we can assign to is Quistus with magic and Squall with spirit. Now let's take a look at the GFs. Now Quizicado, I don't want you learning that. I want you learning boost. And as for Shiva, I need you to be learning strength so that. Now, once this once this ability is learned by this GF, then we'll be able to start junctioning strength to whoever they're junctioned to. There are also other abilities you can learn, like strength, spirit plus twenty percent. But I don't want any anything else at the moment. I, for now, I need these stat things, except on Quizicado. I want him to be learning boost, and there's a good reason for that. Now, in addition to experience points, um, you also gain AP in battles. Usually not a whole lot. Now, boss fights give the most amount of AP usually, but boss, boss fights also don't give you any experience points, which is going to be perfect for keeping everyone low level. Alright, now let's see what we can draw from these things. Yes, I know how to use the gunblade. Yes, yeah, so the weapon that Squall is using is called a gunblade. And if you hit if you hit the R1 button at just the right time, you can increase the damage that you do to an enemy because you're pulling the trigger right as you hit them. Think of the gunblade as kind of like a vibroblade. It doesn't actually shoot bullets, but it vibrates to deal more damage to the enemy. So the bugs are carrying fire. And then the Caterpillar is carrying Thunders. So bear with me one moment again, guys, while I draw this magic from these fools. Alright guys, I'm back again. And now we've got 100 stocked Fire and Thunder spells from these guys. Now, these guys, this thing I'm actually going to kill. I am trying to stay low level, but I want to see if this thing drops an item for me. So yeah, that's how you can tell that the gunblade is doing more damage there. 
if when you see it do a little bit more damage. Let's see if it drops the item. Ah, it didn't. That's unfortunate. Oh well. It had a chance of dropping an item for Quistus that would have learned her one of her Glimmer Break abilities. I believe it's called Ultra Waves. Now, Quist. I didn't even get into another battle right away. But yeah, but Quistus is essentially this game's blue mage. She can learn abilities from enemies, but only if they drop an item. Uh, let's run away. Now the thing about drawing is that when you first start the game out, you're not going to be drawing a lot of magic from enemies, because your your ability to draw magic is based is tied directly to your magic stat. So if your magic is low, you're not going to be drawing a whole lot from an enemy, and if they have high magic defense, there's even a chance that the draw could fail, which we'll probably be seeing fairly soon. Let's just sort out the magic real quick. I always have it set as attack, restore, and indirect. It's the easiest way for me to remember. So we have all all three of the regular elemental spells at this point. I don't think we can get any more. Nothing else will increase his spirit stat anymore. Okay, so I think we're pretty much done on the world map as far as drawing magic is concerned, so let's head into the Fire Cavern. <laughs> 